Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're doing another Ammon Ket Intermediate Swiss Draft League. Alright, Chandler Initiate. Good card. We'll take it over Lake Claim, Fanbear, Gust Walker. These are all the notable first picks, I would say. Initiate's a nice pickup, though. Good ramp card. As well as a fixer. Okay. Follow-up pick. Best card is probably Stir the Sands. I don't know how I feel about Oracle's Vault. I've played it once. I've had it do good things, and I've had it be really clunky. I think because of my experience with how fast this format is, I'm a little bit less impressed with Oracle's Vault. It's just a little bit too slow for my comfort. I think Stir the Sands is probably the best card in this pack. It's very good. So we'll take it. Oh, Destined to Lead, yeah. Uh, quite a few comments about this card. I think it's good. I like this card. I haven't uh, been abused by it too badly yet, or abused with it, but I definitely see the value of it. So there's a giant spider, a pouncing cheetah, but we probably take the splendid agony, which I think is the best card in this pack. I've been pretty impressed with splendid agony in general. So there's a bat. What's the best card in this pack? Yeah, there's nothing really special in this pack. I mean, Indestructible Angel, but seven mana is a lot. Enigma Drake, which I think is fun. It's a fun build around. Tormenting Voice. Probably just the bat, I guess. Not a very exciting pickup, but it is a zombie. Maybe the zombie deck is possibly open if we see things. Here's Rags to Riches, so this might just be worth picking up now. Unfortunately, it kills all our things, but it is a bit of a board wipe, and with all the aggro I've seen, I could see that being good. Otherwise, it's like Horror of the Broken Lands. Doesn't seem like green is very open. Let's take this Rags to Riches. Another Oracle's Vault. So, a couple zombies. Neither are like... I mean, all these are zombies. None of them are amazing ones. But Compulsory Rest is close enough to Pacifism where I probably just want to take it. Especially this late. Okay, so now we got a Soul Stinger and a Splendid Agony. Pouncing Cheetah as well. Some late red playables, the Sure Shot and the Cartouche, but picking up an Agony number two here is fine with me. I think the card's good. I like it. So now there's Dune Beetle, which is good for, I guess, like a, a long game plan. I guess it pairs reasonably well with Rags as well. Makes them want to commit more to the board. Somehow Dune Beetle has not been all that good for me in this format as of, as of now. Maybe... Well, I don't know. For some reason, it just does not do what I need it to do, which is hold down the fort for the most part. Um, but I guess I'd probably take it over Painful Lesson. I could find some other ways to draw cards. So late red cards that are very good, like Sure Shot and Manticore. I guess there is an illusory wrappings to help play riches, but you can just play rags without riches. Sure Shot is actually just a legit good card. Like, if we're seeing red this late, maybe I'm just supposed to take it. Alright, we'll take another Doom Beetle. Could take the illusory wrappings now. Alright. I'm, I don't like Dune Beetle that much anyway. So there's a spider this late, which is surprising. A seeker. 
Seeker, I guess, can do some things with like Splendid Agony. It also randomly has synergy with all the cycle cards in the format. Or the cycle payoffs, I should say. But I would think Spider is just a better card. Alright, Benefaction. I guess we'll take it. We do have Illusory Wrappings and Compulsory Rest as of now, so... All right, we'll take the excavation, cradle. That was an odd, uh, odd pack one. Trying to establish what we're supposed to be doing. So there's a trial of zeal, which is of course good, because we have plenty of directions we can go as well. There's also an evolving wilds in here. If I think I'm going to play more than two color, so we have the most in black. There's a Doom Dissenter, a Wander in Death, which I do like Wander in Death. There's another Compulsory Rest. I imagine these are just fine in this format, especially against Hyper Aggro. Just paying two to stop something is pretty good, even though they can sack and gain life. This is as close to pacifism as you're going to get. So I might just take it. It's probably fine on the Splash as well. There's not really a green card I want to pick up. First pick here. The Devoted Crop Mate is fine, but I don't know if this is a deck for it. So maybe I just take Rest because it's cheap removal. It's fine on the splash. All right. Liliana's Mastery. Yeah, this card's sweet. <laughs> Mastery into Stir the Sands. All right. So maybe we're, maybe we are black-white. Could just be black and figure out the rest from there. We'll figure it out. I think we're just for sure black now. Getting past the Mastery is amazing. That card's good. This is the first time I've gotten to play with it, too. It's also a Great Maw in here. Some good green beaters. Another Doom Beetle, another Splendid Agony, though. Some decent white cards. But let's take the Agony. I feel like this is just fine most of the time. Most of the time, you're pretty happy with Splendid Agony. So, Destined to Lead. Magma Spray, Liquid Hot Magma. We have Cory Hauler, which is actually pretty awesome with Splendid Agony. Remember, you can do it to your opponent's things as well. Just put another Neg 1, Neg 1 on it. Not bad, actually. Uh, spray is just cheap. I'm not sure. I mean, Red was kind of open pack 1, but... I do have some good green... I mean, I have Initiate and Giant Spider already. Could just take the Scorpion to stay with the black. I feel like we already have a lot of three drops, though. We do have a lot of three drops already. Cory Hauler is good most of the time, like I said. But I think I'm actually going to take the Scorpion. I want to see if how deep into black I can get. Another Stir of the Sands, for example, is great. Like, Scattered Groves would be a nice pickup for us for fixing, but Stir of the Sands is just so good alongside Liliana's Mastery. It's just those two together, I imagine, are going to win some games. So let's take that. So we have Wander and Death. Some good red cards again. Probably just take the Wander and Death now, though. I guess most of our creature cards are non-creature spells, though, which is odd. But Wander Death is just good in general. I guess Supernatural Stamina is not bad either. But I'm going to take Wander and Death. A lot of three drops, I admit. So there's Stinging Shot now. Probably just take the Evolving Wilds. I think we're likely going to have to do some weird three-color nonsense. So I could take another Spider or a Stinging Shot. Some blue cards that are playable. We'll take the second Spider. Another Wandering Death, Painful Lessons, Spider Grasp, Sixth Sense. 
Hmm. I don't really love any of it. Guess we'll take the painful lesson. All right, another spider. All the spiders. And the dune beetles. Okay. So I guess our plan is we're just like a stall out deck. I'm okay with that. So I think our plan is junk. Junk stall. Because we have the dune beetles. We've got things to buy time. And then we just eventually win the game on the back of a... Benefaction can find Liliana's Mastery too, is Ganna. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this, this deck seems fine to me, actually. Not even dedicated black-white zombie, but... Uh, double Dune Beetle, triple Giant Spider. I mean, we're... I feel like we're well positioned, and we have the rags, too, to neg two, neg two, everything. I feel like we're in a good position to to jam a, uh, a stall deck here. Good amount of removal, double compulsory rest, which I think we are going to splash for. I'm going to let someone have Slither Blade. Last pick, Painted Bluffs. Well, I can. Hapatra. Yeah, I think with triple Splendid Agony, I think we just found our uh, ticket to making this green-black thing come together here. Uh, <laughs> Double Death Touch Snakes with Splendid Agony. It's pretty amazing. And uh, Chandler Initiate turns into three Death Touch. Yeah, Hippotra looks really good. So we'll take that, and we're not passing too much for it either. Actually, the Naga, the Naga Vitalist would be a really nice pickup too. But I'm going to take Apatra. It's just way cooler in our deck. So, Shed Weakness, Unburden, Benefaction, Dune Beetle, Horror of the Broken Lands, Pouncing Cheetah. All of these are fine. Probably take the Horror. I don't need a third Dune Beetle. I don't think I need the cheetah, and I like what horror can do, doubling as a win condition, an early cycler. Works well alongside other cycling cards. Oh, Ketra's Monument, but we don't quite have enough creature spells for that yet. That's all right. Let's take Horror of the Broken Lands. All right, so now there's Cartouche of Strength, Ruthless Sniper, another Evolving Wilds. So Ruthless Sniper Synergies, we have one, two, three, four, five. Not enough. Cartouche is just good, on the other hand. Kill things. We need some... Well, I was going to say we need more removal, which isn't true. We have 13 creature cards, if you include the Mastery and the Double Surge Sands, which I would. Double Painful Lesson seems unnecessary. I'm... Going to probably just end up running 17 lands here, so we can cut a painful lesson for this cartouche for now. Lake Lame. Yeah, it is good. Probably want another Horror of the Broken Lands. And I would cut Benefaction before Painful Lesson, I think. We have no Embalm. And just because it can hit our enchantments doesn't mean that it will. I'd rather just be able to kill my opponent or just draw straight two without having to worry about drawing two in a pinch. So we'll swap these out. And now we're magically up to 14 creatures. So there's another Horror of the Broken Lands. Could take the Soul Stinger now for the uh, Hapatra Synergy. Which kind of makes sense to me. I like Soul Stinger. It also randomly survives rags. Even if you have to put the counters on it. There's also Destined to Lead. But I'm okay with Soul Stinger here. Over the third Horror of the Broken Lands. And then I probably end up cutting... Uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But Soul Stinger seems good. 
So there's Gift of Paradise to Ramp Splash, but there's Initiate's Companion, which is just cheap. I'd probably run the Companion over a Dune Beetle, honestly. I like, I think it just is better in general. I'd rather be able to deal three power to something than have a decent blocker. And Gift probably is not necessary. It does let us Splash Compulsory rest a little bit easier, but we have Evolving Wilds, Painted Bluffs, as well as a Channeler Initiate, so I feel like we have the means already to get there. So there's another Soul Stinger, another Crack at Gift of Paradise, Watchers of the Dead. Probably just take another Soul Stinger. I can think of some things we can cut for it. We can figure it out. Another Splendid Agony? Yes, please. All the Quad Splendid Agony deck. <laughs> Guess I don't need any of this. Uh, a third Dune Beetle. Maybe if I need to sideboard into Dune Beetles. Otherwise, Unburden. Which I don't think I'm playing anyway, and we don't have Cycling Synergies. But yeah, take it. All the Dune Beetles, okay. I don't need a Honed Kopesh either, I don't think. No. I certainly don't need four Dune Beetles. I am very much protected. So yeah, this, I mean, this looks good. We have everything a deck needs. I may actually cut the Wandering Death. It's not bad. It's never bad, but I feel like I don't need it for this deck. I don't actually have like bomb creatures to bring back like I can bring back like Hapatra or Horror of the Broken Lands or like a Soul Stinger it just it really doesn't feel that good for me in this deck usually Wandering Death is a great card but I think in this deck it's it's not particularly exciting um are Compulsory Rests worth the splash I think they probably are we have Painted Bluffs Evolving Wilds so we can get away with one planes and prob probably not affect the mana base too much. And like I said, we have the Chandler Initiate as well. So we have like four ways to get white. And I feel like this can stop things reasonably well. So we have to make six cuts. We'll keep the Rags of Riches in. Let's cut... Probably at least a couple Dune Beetles. I think two is where I draw the line. Probably three Giant Spiders. Doesn't seem complete and necessary. You can cut one of those. This still leaves us with 16 creatures. So I could probably still cut one more if I wanted. I think we'll cut the Wandering Death. Like I said, it's just not quite as necessary for our deck. And I might actually cut the Painful Lesson too. I like card advantage, but... I want to not get as gunked up in the three drop slot. Blighted Bat's actually not that great for our deck. It's a zombie, so it works well with mastery, but it doesn't buy us time particularly well. It basically just has evade. It's our only card that evades, which is nice, but I feel like we can just run over people in the late game with mastery into Stir the Sands, just make an army of three threes back, backed up with some uh, Splendid Agony. So, yeah. Um, one more cut. Could be a creature if I wanted. Currently have five two-drop creatures. Might just cut the bat. Just, though it does evade. It's just not exactly what I'm looking for. Like, Cartouche is going to be a lot better on things like Scorpion, Spider, Soul Stinger. Hmm. And I feel like we can eat pretty easily cut a creature here and not get hurt by it. So I probably cut Blighted Bat and run something like this. This looks good to me. We have answers for everything. Cartouche, Splinted Agony, Compulsory Rest. So we can deal with pretty much everything. Fatty-wise, we've got like synergies too. Hypatra with Soul Stingers. 
is going to be really good. And quad splendid agony with Hapatra is pretty incredible. Like Hapatra into splendid agony is just really, really strong. Yeah, I'm, I think this deck is actually pretty good. So we only need one plane, so let's bring in our fixing. And then I guess we don't need that much green. No blue, please. So if I do this, this is 11 black. 11 black, 7 green, and 3 white plus the initiate. It's a 4 white. Okay, I think this is good. I like this. So, basically, we are running uh, green, black, splash, compulsory rest. And we've got a good late game plan of Liliana's Mastery with double stir the sands. We can board wipe. We can deal with fatties. So, I don't see any big weaknesses for this deck. I feel like it's pretty well geared against aggro, too, for the most part. But we'll see. This looks like a fun deck. We'll see you round one.